not gonna do this to me. Do what? Make you grow up? You just lower your voice. I expect you to act like a father? Can you help me out here? Um, sure, lead the way. All right, come on. So, Elijah, what do you say? Would you like to go and see the inside of a real live ambulance? Yeah, sure. Well, I think that can be arranged. Cool. If that's all right with you. Of course. Come on. You're gonna love this. <laughs> Thank you. I know I shouldn't be doing this in front of my son. Don't mention it. You shouldn't have brought the kid here in the first place. Could you just move away from Eli for one second? Dr. Mom. Thank you, Anna. At least somebody's got some bloody sense. Off. I wish I could have done that. My pleasure. Watching it was almost just as good. <laughs> and it's all I needed. I'm gonna get my son now. The tabloids are gonna love this. Trish! Oh. Oh. What's the matter, Eli? You're feeling your age? Oh, I think I broke something. Let's hope it's your bottomless ego. No. Oh. I always scrape you off the floor and boot you out of here or something I need to tell you. You guys having fun? I would say, as far as public humiliation goes, this is about as good as it gets. You bloody sightest. Give me a hand. First of all, oh, for every guy who is a father who's trying to do the right thing, who's maybe not sure what it means to be a father, shut up and listen. Whether you meant to or not, you have... Hey, what's going on? Oh, your the son is giving Eli some much-needed enlightenment. What are you talking about? Trish knew the deal going in. I mean, she... Oh. She wasn't waiting in the back of the two of us for me because she thought I'd make a good father. You helped create another person. And there's no escaping that. And that person has a right to expect certain things from you. You can and should expect certain things from yourself, like getting to know who he is, figuring out what he likes, what he needs, expecting something of yourself. And I know it takes time out of your glamorous, fast-living lifestyle. But there's a reward in it. Raising a child is a privilege. And the fact that you're running away, abandoning your son, it's a direct insult to every guy who's trying to do the right thing. You're exactly what women hate about men. Have the limo meet us at the loading dock. I don't want anyone seeing Eli in this condition. Oh, I hope you're not having any regrets. Oh, me? No, you know the only thing I regret was ever trying to get to know the man behind the musician. You know the real Eli Love? You're just a shallow narcissist. You know, I think Eli suffered uh, more brain damage than we thought in that operation last year. Otherwise, he'd realize that the groupie parade's gonna come and go. You'll never find anybody quite as amazing as you. Oh, <laughs> thank you. I just can't believe it took me so long to work out what a loser he is. We all, we all fell for it, though. I mean, you know, you see the guy putting out all that energy and passion on stage, you think there's more to him. Mm. Like, uh, people can surprise you. And where you found that stuff out about being a father, I'll never know. If you put that into practice, and you're gonna be an amazing guy. We're gonna miss Eli and that rock star thing. Uh. No, not in the slightest. No. I swear, when they were wheeling him out of my life forever, I didn't even have the smallest twinge of regret. Nothing. Okay. <sighs> oh, my God. No. You know what I'm thinking? That... Last summer, when I was attracted to you because I thought you looked like Eli. Yeah. Uh -huh. Maybe I was attracted to Eli because he looks like you. Probably should say something noble right now. 